स्टूडेंट्स आई एम रविश लेक्चरर इन फिजिक्स केली इंडिपेंडेंट पीयू कॉलेज राजाज नगर बैंगलोर डियर स्टूडेंट्स टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डेमोन्स्ट्रेट वन ऑफ द एक्सपेरिमेंट इन क्लास 12 फिजिक्स दैट इज रेसिस्टिविटी ऑफ मटेरियल ऑफ वायर द एम ऑफ द एक्सपेरिमेंट इज टू डिटरमाइन रेसिस्टेंस ऑफ द गिवन वायर यूजिंग मीटर ब्रिज एंड हेंस डिटरमाइन द रेसिस्टिविटी ऑफ मटेरियल ऑफ द वायर सो दिस इज द एम ऑफ द एक्सपेरिमेंट operators required for this experiment is meter bridge experimental wire resistance box plug key jockey galvanometer connecting wires and battery the principle of the experiment is the meter bridge works on the principle of wheatstone bridge the wheatstone bridge is balanced when current through the galvanometer is zero okay so this is the principle of the experiment next formula required for this experiment is one is resistance of the wire that is r is equal to s into l divided by 100 minus l where r is nothing but the resistance of wire and s is nothing but the standard resistance l is nothing but the balancing length so the next formula is resistivity of material of wire that is rho is equal to r into a divided by l where r is nothing but the resistance of wire a is nothing but the area of cross section that is pi r square l is nothing but the length of experimental wire okay next is observation radius of experimental wire small r is equal to which is given that is 0.22 into 10 power minus 3 meter and the length of experimental wire capital l is equal to that is also given 2.70 meter okay next is circuit diagram so the this is the positive terminal of the battery the positive terminal of the battery is connected to point a of the meter bridge point b of the meter bridge is connected to one end of the galvanometer another end of the galvanometer is connected to pen jockey or slider the negative terminal of the battery is connected to one end of the key another end of the key is connected to point c of the meter bridge okay so this is left gap we have to connect the experimental wire in right gap we have to connect the known resistance or standard resistance box okay so this arrow mark indicates we can vary the resistance okay this is all about circuit next is tabular column so in this tabular column this is resistance yes resistance yes value we have to substitute in this column okay this is balancing length column and this is 100 minus l and this is R is equal to S into L divided by 100 minus L. Let us pass on to the experimental setup. So this is point A of the meter bridge, point B of the meter bridge, point C of the meter bridge, right gap, left gap, and point B of the meter bridge is connected to one end of the galvanometer. Another end of the galvanometer is connected to pen jockey. So this is positive terminal, negative terminal, key, plug key. Okay. so this is point a of the meter bridge left gap point b of the meter bridge right gap point c of the meter bridge okay so this is battery range from 0 to 12 volts for this experiment 2 volts is enough so the red color indicates the positive terminal of the battery black color indicates the negative terminal of the battery so this is plug key we can place over here and this is galvanometer okay and placing over and this is decayed resistance box so in this decayed resistance box we have two compartments one is in terms of 10 ohm another one is in terms of 1 ohm okay <coughs> so this is experimental wire we can place over here okay so this is pen jockey so these are all the operators required for this experiment
see the circuit the positive terminal of the battery is connected to point e of the meter bridge so this is the positive terminal of the battery which is connected to point e of the meter bridge can connect over here okay negative terminal of the battery is connected to one end of the plug the another end of that plug is connected to point c of the meter bridge in left gap we have to connect experimental wire okay so this is point b of the meter bridge point b of the meter bridge is connected to one end of the galvanometer the another end of the galvanometer is connected to jockey or slider okay in right gap we have to connect the known resistance or decayed resistance box so this is all about circuit connection okay so now switch on the battery okay so i am applying two volts in the battery okay after that key is closed close the key next cross check whether the galvanometer shows fully deflections on either side okay if you keep this jockey at left edge of the meter bridge galvanometer shows fully deflections in right side if you keep this jockey at right edge of the meter bridge yellow meter shows fully deflection seen left side okay then only the circuit connection is correct after that note down the readings okay so in this tabular column first we have to set 5 ohm or 10 ohm or 15 ohm in the resistance column okay for first trial i will set 5 ohm in the decayed resistance box okay see we have two compartments which is connected in series first we have to set 5 ohm okay so 1 ohm 2 ohm 3 4 5 ohm 
for 5 ohm resistance what should be the balancing length okay we have to note down over here okay for 5 ohm resistance once again we have to cross check whether the galvanometer shows fully deflections on both side if we keep this choke at left edge of the meter bridge galvanometer shows fully fully deflections in right side if we keep this choke at right edge of the meter bridge galvanometer shows fully deflections in left side okay now note down the balancing length okay keep on moving this choke towards right side Yes. For 5 ohm resistance, the balancing length is 65 centimeter. Okay, the balancing length should be in between 30 and 70. Okay, note down the balancing length. For 5 ohm resistance, balancing length is 65 centimeter. Okay, next trial is for 10 ohm resistance. Note down the balancing length. For uh, for 15 ohm resistance, note down the balancing length. After substitute the value of S L and 100 minus L. In this formula, you will get the value of R1, R2 and R3. For mean value, R1, R2, R3 divided by 3, you will get the mean value of R. Okay. After that, substitute the value of capital R in this formula. Resistivity formula. That is rho is equal to R into A divided by L. A is nothing but the area of cross section of the experimental wire. So, pi R square. R value we have already given. Substitute the value of A in this formula, R in this formula and capital L in this formula, you will get the resistivity of the material of the given Y. Next we shall pass on to result. Substitute the value of resistivity over here. Okay. So this concludes the experiment. Thank you.